Welcome to Nessi Mandra. Today I am here with one informational video. How to become a registered nurse in Nova Scotia. If you are new to my channel, kindly subscribe and enable the bell icon to get updated notifications about new videos. This channel is dedicated for healthcare professionals, licensing process and exam preparation assistance for Gulf and European countries. Nova Scotia College of Nursing, NSCN. For Canada, licensure application process for internationally educated nurses. International nurse not currently licensed in Canada. For them, what is the process? First step, we have to do the survey. Nova Scotia's new application pathway for nurses from seven countries. The two licensure pathway is available. Expedited pathway, that is for RN from seven countries, Philippines, India, Nigeria, Australia, USA, UK, New Zealand are eligible for expedited pathway. Applicants from other countries are eligible for non-expedited pathway. Documents required. So we have to do the nursing education verification, your home country license verification, home country license verification as well as the country where you worked last. Then you must produce the good standing certificate. Other all documents you will be having it. But to know which all the documents we have to do the verification. That is education, then valid license from home country initial license and the latest license and good standing certificate we have to produce as additional document. Applicant portal information we have to sign up NSCN registration we have to do. If you are educated and practiced as a mental health nurse, then you have to email first before you are applying in the NSCN website. So you have to mail to registration at nscn.ca. Those who studied MSc nursing in mental health as well as BSc mental health studies and you practiced as a mental health nurse, after your studies. For RN applicants from expedited countries, you have to submit two identification forms. Passport, international passport is must. And other identity proof also you have to submit, like your birth certificate or marriage certificate like that. Then if your name is changed after marriage, then you have to submit the name change document, that is marriage certificate as a proof you have to submit. Notarization of the documents are not required for NSCN registration. And a good news is that the candidates from expedited countries, no need for English language pathway, that is no need for ILTS for NSCN registration for English application. So we have to do the license verification. Verification of registration from uh, your nursing councils. You have to send the form to the council. And if you already done NNAS application, the NNAS advisory report if you have, then you can port the NNAS report to NSCN. Once the report is ported, you have to email uh, the NNAS application number for Nova Scotia uh, to rrt at nscn.ca. For applicants currently licensed in the USA, you can use the nurses online search tool for uh, the license verification to determine whether your license is in good standing or not. So like this you have to do the license verification, then you have to do the education verification from your college, then you can pay the application fee in the NSCN site. If you completed the competency assessment through another regulatory body, then you can arrange uh, the NSCN to receive the copy of that report, a report from ICAS verification report, uh, World Education Service, this report. So if you already completed this assessment, you can port the report to NSCN. Then next mandatory thing is you have to submit a criminal record check, CRC, to NSCN. So when the NSCN inform you, you have to um, like uh, submit the criminal record check when you are eligible to apply for licensure. Do not submit your CRC, that is criminal record check, with your initial application because CRC document, it will get expired soon. 
a maximum of six month will be the validity for the CRC certificate. So for Indians, CRC means police clearance certificate. We have to take from particular state where you practice your nursing. CRC must come to the NSCN directly from the agency performing it. So I uh, have to send uh, the mail to ien at nscn.ca. To that mail, the police clearance certificate, that agency can send the mail. So once the application is approved, we have four options. Get conditional license now and exam later. That is one option. Or get conditional license and take the registration exam now. Or take registration exam now and license later. Or do nothing right now. Like that four option is there. Which option you need, that option you have to select and you have to uh, proceed further. For a registered nurse, the exam is NGLEX RN. But for LPN, licensed practical nurse, the exam is known as CPNRE. That means Canadian Practical Nurse Registration Examination. To immigrate to Canada, you must have job offer letter from employer from Canada. You are eligible for conditional license, but it expires within four months from the activation date. So no need to activate the conditional license to write the NCLEX examination. You can activate the um, conditional license when you are travel to the, traveling to the Canada. So for writing the NCLEX exam, there is no need to activate the conditional license. Directly you can write the exam. Unless it is required for immigration purpose, you do not have to activate the conditional license until you arrive in Canada. Expiry of your application. All international documents will expire within 24 months after they were completed. So, but in that ILTS report, that is validity will be there for two years. Other all uh, documents, it will expire within 24 months. Then after two years, if you wish to reapply, then you have to repay for the assessment fee. How much fees for Nova Scotia program? Application for assessment for RN from seven countries. Seven countries listed initially. For those countries, you have to pay the application fee that is 57.50 CAD. Other countries, the cost is 575 CAD. So this is about Nova Scotia program. This is easy pathway. So if you need further information or assistance with this process, you can contact Nursing Mandra WhatsApp.